So, uh, I'm at an interesting point in my life, and I'm glad that movies like Deadpool and Wolverine are able to get made and exist at the same time that I'm going through this transitional phase because it reminds me that love, inspiration, and passion are still out there. Even if sometimes it's wavering for me, I can still look outwards for inspiration and love. And that's what Deadpool and Wolverine is. It's more than just a movie and that's what I love most about movies when they transcend the medium itself to be something more. And this movie is just that. It's about these two friends who have wanted to make this on-screen dynamic work for over a decade but, but never really managed to get the kinks correct until now. This movie is about honoring and remembering the projects before that allowed this to happen in the first place. It's about honoring the people who all didn't really get a chance for their dreams to be fully actualized. So I'm really glad that they were able to pay homage to their characters and get a quote-unquote proper send-off in this movie. And I am pleasantly so surprised that this level of sincerity and compassion still exists in this modern day. And that speaks a lot to the people who worked on this film and just and just how compassionate they were. Um, you know, Ryan Reynolds, Sean Levy, and I'm sure a bunch of other people, they deserve so much credit for what this film is. It's a love letter in so, so many ways to the fans, to themselves, and to the projects that came before. It's just beautiful and inspiring. It deserves all the success that it's receiving. It's currently the sixth highest grossing film of 2024. And, you know, they did it. They accomplished their dream. As Ryan said in the movie, he's been waiting for this team up for a long time. They actually pulled it off. What a marvelous feat. Some people are saying that because of this movie, um, the MCU is finally back. We are back on track and that this movie is going to save the MCU and start a quote unquote new chapter where the studio is once again taking their time with the movies and their work and the projects and just focusing on the story and the characters again instead of spectacle. At least that's what I'm hoping for. There was like a comic con thing that happened pretty recently. And, you know, there was some cool stuff announced, like, uh, the Fantastic Four first steps. We saw, like, some images, uh, from that movie. Seems really cool. Um, and the other thing that stood out to me was, of course, the Robert Downey Jr. casting as Doctor Doom. There has been a lot of mixed reception for that. I'm not really sure what I can add to that discussion that hasn't already been said. Obviously, I hope Doctor Doom, the character, gets done justice, but I'm interested to hear what exactly drew Robert to this role and this studio once again after having such an impactful and meaningful end. What made him want to come back? He might have disclosed all of that um, during the Comic-Con panel, but um, I don't really have time to watch the whole thing, so excuse me for my ignorance. But I digress, let's talk a little bit more about the actual Deadpool and Wolverine movie itself, which I'm not sure if I've already said, but was fantastic. I really liked it, although it cost me a lot of money because I booked three tickets and missed out on two of the timings. Mistake on my part, I misjudged when I would be able to arrive at the theater, so I literally booked three tickets for three different time slots and I missed the first two. But but when I finally got to the, the third screening and I actually got in and I watched the movie, it made it all worth it. The lighting was a little bit dark. Um, I'm not sure if that was a unique experience at my specific theater or if everyone else had the same experience, but the, the top of the screen felt a little too dim for me. Um, and I was also sitting near the front row because I booked my seat a little late. But even with all of that, still a great, great movie. I lost track of time pretty much until maybe like the third act. Everything just kind of flowed together and gelled smoothly that you can't even tell what section of the movie you're in. And that reflects really well on the pacing and storytelling of this movie. It never felt like a drag and everything just seemed to make sense and, and I never felt like it deviated away from the main plotline and everything felt like it served and was propelling the plot forward. I loved pretty much all the characters in this movie. The cameos were great, action sequences were so well choreographed, 
and showed a different side to Wolverine that we haven't really seen before. And having these two characters that are pretty much immortal fighting each other is of course such a fantastic idea and leads to a lot of creative fighting sequences and just visual spectacle to behold. Wolverine's suit is really cool and the more I think about it and reminisce on it, the more I appreciate the suit more and more. It must not be easy to craft these superhero suits and, you know, the suits are a huge part of these films and I'm really happy with the final results, especially with, I'm not sure if I can say that part, but you know, if you've seen the movie, you know the suit gets even better. I enjoyed the two villains in this movie, Mr. Paradox and Cassandra Nova. Both had really good performances and were just handled well with respect and integrity. They served their purpose and they didn't overstay their welcome. I think they hit the right beats at the right times. And yeah, they served their purpose. What this movie means for the MCU is kind of significant. Um, this movie has... I believe the most F-bombs in any Deadpool movie ever, and I believe is the first R-rated Marvel movie. And also now that Deadpool is in the MCU, that has a lot of implications for where his story could go and, you know, he he's most likely going to be part of Secret Wars or and or um, the Avengers Doomsday, I think it's, it's called. And that just changes so many things because he is unkillable, so I I'm very interested to see how he works with the other Marvel characters. And having him in this universe is going to be so, so fun. However, I'm not sure if our, our friend Logan Wolverine, this version, will be sticking around. It seems like this is it for Hugh Jackman and this character. I could be very wrong because, you know, Marvel loves... They love their actors very much. So he could come back, but I feel like if he does, there needs to be a very good reason for it. And I think that the Avengers movies are good enough reasons for that, but I don't think we'll see him in like every single movie. This movie's only been out for a short amount of time, so I, I don't want to give out any spoilers. But I will say that if the MCU continues to be open-minded and experimental with their projects like they were with this and just give more reign and trust to people and give them more leeway to express themselves then i think more movies like deadpool and wolverine will be able to come to fruition so hopefully this marks a new chapter for marvel and i hope the success of this movie gives them that spark once again to really honor these characters and the fans and stories in general good stories and good storytelling is what this has always been about and so if they can just go back to that then i think avengers doomsday and avengers secret wars is gonna be spectacular it'll recapture that marvel magic from all those years before and that is all for me i would love to know what you guys think about this movie and whether you think marvel is back we are back finally have you watched this movie in theaters? And what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. I would love to read your responses. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And I just want to try and make my videos even better and just even more full of love. So I'm excited for the future and I hope you stick along for the ride. Have a wonderful day.